So what I'm going to do now is take you through the new Google Earth Tour Builder, a tutorial on how to produce a Google Earth Tour with it. So we go to this URL first, and I'm going to click Create a Tour. So my tour name is going to be London to Glacier. I'm Richard Treves. So I'm now creating a, a tour with that title and with, there's the title there, and with me as the author. So this is the interface that we'll use for creating the Google Earth tour. And at the moment I'm defining the introduction slide. It's on a slide metaphor, which is quite nice. So this is our field trip. We run from Southampton University to the Aurora Glacier. Story 3D, and you can investigate the options that you have there. I'm going to leave that as it is. Path color, I'm going to define it as orange. This is the path that gets drawn from place to place. And advanced options for the whole tour, I'm going to turn off trees, but I'm going to leave 3D buildings on and borders and labels. So that that's layers that you can choose to have showing during the tour. So let's add our first location. You can see if I click that add location, it wants me to enter a place. So I'm going to put Big Ben London. And you can see that it's guessed. That's what I'm typing. So I put that in. And it will automatically create a pin and fly me to the place that I've just typed in. And then I can choose whether I want to put this in the tour or not. So at the moment it isn't there, but if I click Add to Tour, you can see that it appears as a new slide there. And now I have to define some things that go with it. So first up, I'm going to add a video. So let's search YouTube. So I can do photos or videos from a number of different places here. Let's search Big Ben. And this is... That's the famous clock ringing as a YouTube video, so I like that. I'm going to select it. And you can see that that now is associated with this place, Big Ben in London. Let's give it a description there. And leave the icon as it is. But what I am going to do is I'm going to customize the view because looking down you can't tell that this is Big Ben at all. But what we can do is using the keyboard controls and pressing shift and down arrow now I can tilt the view and shift and left arrow I'll rotate and then click that you can see I can zoom in. So I'm zooming in on Big Ben. Give it a bit more tilt. There we go, there's a nice view. So I can lock this view of Big Ben. So that view will now be associated with that place mark. Let's add another location. I'm going to add Big Ben again because it's quite nice, it helps people understand where you're going. If you add a plan view, which is this automatically is uh, facing north, you can see from the north arrow, it helps people to understand if you add intermediate places with this in. So I'm going to add this and just so we know this is the plan view. I've added that in now. Now let's have another location. So let's go to the Arola Glacier in Switzerland. And yes, I'm going to add this to tour. And again, I'm going to add this is a plan view. And then I'm 
and get another one. And with this second one, again, I'm going to customize the view because really the mountains around here are very spectacular and it really shows this off. And lock that view there and now I've got a, a series of points and here's my first location Big Ben There's my next one, plan view. And then I've created another one over the Aurora Glacier. It's a plan view. And then you can see this is the one tilted showing off the 3D. So let's add a photo to this. Oops. So let's pick that view, click select. And now I've got a number of views of videos and photos associated with these things. So let's click done editing. And now I can share this with other people. But let's view it is so we start with the introduction. So this is the trip from London to the Aurora Glacier. You can see my things have appeared. And I start with going to Big Ben. And I can play the video associated with that. Here we go. Do the plan view. Now, see it goes from London out down to the Aurora Glacier plan view. And then I click on this view, and you can see I get the photo associated with it, and I click to their view. So that's very simply how to use Tour Builder to create a tool.